We might have lost the mojo for winning major titles, but Manchester United has never lost their lure for top sponsorship. Snapdragon, an American semiconductor manufacturing company, it's a technologies company under a one Qualcomm, an American company as well, has been confirmed as the new shirt sponsors or for the front of the shirt, home, away, and third kit for Manchester United for the 2024-2025 season. Now, that's massive that even in our struggles and woes, we will keep fetching the biggest pounds. Question is, should we be happy because this is what is keeping the Glazers around? This power to make money, the power to generate revenue that Manchester United has is the reason the Glazers don't want to sell, don't want to move a muscle because they know this club is a cash cow for them and for them it is all about money <laughs> anyhow hotspot subscribe my name is web now i'll tell you that uh United has had its stories with uh, shirt sponsors over the years. We've, quite, we've had quite a number of them. You talk of uh, from way back, the likes of Sharp, who are probably my favorite. These are years we had the likes of David Beckham and, uh, you know, Juan Veron. Uh, I think uh, uh, Veron was in here at that, uh, during those times. We had, I think, some of our best players uh, when we were sponsored by Sharp. We had the likes of uh, AON. We had, uh, uh, you know, of course, Chevrolet, then Team Viewer, and each one had their story. The story of Team Viewer perhaps will be one that will be conf confusing because uh, under Team Viewer, we've had quite a, uh, you know, a, a number of managers. I think the only good thing we'll think about is Eric Ten Hag's era that is trying to turn around things for Manchester United. Uh, with team viewer but uh, uh, I think uh, post Alex Ferguson most of the things have not been working right but one thing the Glazers have never failed since Ed Woodward came in of course he left but when he was there that the revenue has always been increasing these guys have been bringing the money and wasting it as much uh, because we've been wasting a lot of money on flops in transfers and co on coaches compensations you sign coaches and sack them after Sir Alex Ferguson so the money has not been an issue for Manchester United, and uh, that is the exact reason why now it is all it is an issue because it is the only thing keeping the Glazers here. And with stories like this coming up, that we are getting more uh, shirt sponsors confirmed even a year before the new season, it shows you why these guys want to stick to this club because this club is the most supported club in the world with uh, almost billions of supporters globally. Almost uh, obviously, uh, the the the. the amount of revenue you know they can they can generate is humongous it's crazy and that's exactly why these glazers feel they don't want to move a muscle so now we've confirmed a new shirt sponsor we wonder what exactly is going to happen uh, we do hope uh, it doesn't uh, mean that they're excited and again willing to stay because they are selling and not selling they are as if undecided they came out themselves and announced how they were selling manchester united but they don't seem to want to move a muscle. So what exactly is going on? We're just hearing uh, new sponsors coming in, and we know these are the things that you know excite them and keep them around. But let's hope uh, it will uh, by then, by 2024, 2025, the Glazers won't be there because that's what most of us would wish for. We want a new, uh, you know, breath, a new lease of life. We want you know something new, something more exciting, so that we fight, you know, for that, and uh, we fight for Snap Dragon and make it huge. Anyhow, hotspot, subscribe. Now, still talking Manchester United. United has been offered a, should I say, a reject, a Dutch 28-year-old winger in an annual uh, 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 El Ghazi, uh, who is a 28-year-old Dutch footballer who last played for PSV Eindhoven uh, in his native uh, Netherlands. He had played for Everton, two games for Everton on loan before. But he's a winger who uh, does, certainly no big clubs are fighting for his signature. I mean, if you're good and if you're a free agent and you're good enough, at a point like this, clubs should be fighting for your signature. This player is not wanted by so many clubs or any known serious clubs. But apparently PSV, or rather his representatives, had offered him to Manchester United. Why? Because they see the situation United is in. Uh, they've got issues with Anthony, the right winger. Uh, he's not in the squad for now until further notice. Uh, and uh, Jadon Sancho as well, who would come in as an able, decent deputy, is also undecided. There are still issues going on. There is a little bit of progress because he turned down his tweet, seeming to be remorseful, trying to correct things with Eric Ten Hag. But 
uh, Sancho is not, uh, you know, uh, it's not clear exactly. It's not decided what exactly is going to happen. There are reports that we are suggesting that I told you that he will be leaving Manchester United, forcing him, so, uh, pushing through a move out of United um, in January, as early as January. So he's not settled. Facundo Perez Tree is the other winger who could be offered a new contract to stay, not loaned like we are all praying, uh, you know, so that they don't loan him out. Uh, then... Um, Alejandro Ganacho is the other player, the other option United have in that right wing. Uh, Mason Mount as well has played right wing before. I believe he can be molded into that player. So United feel we've got enough people to come out there and take charge of that right wing position. Also, this could be an opportunity for Manchester United to change uh, formation. Eric Ten Hag to be creative and change formations to suit, uh, you know, the players he has because we've seen that uh, playing with. Uh, uh, Anthony on the right has not yielded us so much. I mean, even when he was there, we did not get a lot from a right winger. So can we adjust today and uh, see a different style? Be a creative as a manager and play a different style or perhaps try to go forward. A 4-1-4-1 mm, uh, or a 4 4 one, one formation where you have uh, probably uh, Rasmus Hoyland on the top then uh, uh, Marcus Rashford playing slightly behind him. I'm just thinking, guys, by the way, crazily, because I'm not a manager. But, I mean, if you don't have a good right winger out there and we've not had one, even when Anthony was there, we were still insistent on playing formations that require us to have a, a right winger. But we can change things around and have traditional formations where we or different formations where tinker things around and suit the players we have, the fit players we have. So... Um, my thinking is that uh, Eric Ten Hag is challenged now, but he can create and see and come up with actual information that could suit all his players because we've got some talented players in there. Now, speaking of talent, uh, of course, uh, Bruno is at uh, top of the pack probably. Um, of those we have, he has proved that this uh, international break with his na native Portugal and how he was performing, you know, as they were, you know, obliterating Luxembourg with their uh, best victory in the history of this country. Uh, and without Cristiano Ronaldo, their greatest player ever, by the way, uh, without Eusebio, some of their best players ever, Bruno Fernandes was manning things as they were, d uh, you know, breaking records. But uh, talking of United players who have been uh, busy in the international break, I told you of Johnny Evans who scored uh, for Northern Ireland uh, where, uh, you know, uh, back uh, over the weekend. I've, I told you of, of uh, Bruno Fernandes. I've told you of Christian Eriksen, who was uh, uh, playing PlayStation football as they were beating up on, uh, was it Finland? Uh, that is Denmark. I've, uh, I've told you, I think they were beating up on San Marino, actually, before they beat up on Denmark. Uh, you know, But uh, for San Marino, he scored and assisted twice with another back heel assist. Uh, that is Christian Eriksen. And uh, by the way, Denmark qualified for the Euros. I, uh, I, I, I think I saw Rasmus Hoyland, uh, you know, having the character now to command the fan base and shouting, we are coming, Euros, we are coming and stuff. That was after their win against Finland. So, I saw uh, Andre Onana playing his first game since the World Cup. Remember, he was ejected, booted out of the Cameroon squad uh, for the Qatar World Cup because of, you know, falling out with the boss, uh, Rico Batsongo. But he was the same man in charge as uh, he returned for the first time since 2022 to keep a clean sheet for Cameroon. So, Onana, you can read the details in the scroll that is passing down on your screen. But again... When it was all going good for Manchester United players, unfortunately for one player, again, it went down again. Harry Maguire did Maguire things. Oh, goodness. Harry Maguire, you feel for him. So Harry Maguire came off the bench to score in his own net as uh, England uh, beat Scotland by three goals to one. Now, this, is, this was a friendly game, but England, Scotland are never friendly. This is in a grudge, a UK battle. It's a United Kingdom rivalry. And Scotland, for some reason, feel they will grow and be able to, to topple uh, England uh, in terms of football. By the way, Scotland has produced the best coaches. I think produces the best coaches uh, you know, better than... You know, Great Britain, uh, or you, uh, the UK, United uh, 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 England, rather. Uh, so there is that grudge. Scotland feel, you know, even as they're a smaller country, they they feel they 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 a bit bigger than England uh, when it comes to you know football, technical and all. But of course, the results have shown that England have struggled them. So Harry Maguire scoring an own goal in that game, whereas it was a friendly game, takes away a bit of something in terms of confidence. He had a decent game against Arsenal. I feel. Uh, so what will uh, then which Maguire are we going to see uh, return? But also is he in the big uh, plans for Eric Ten Hag uh, for this weekend against Brighton because Varen might not be there. Lisandro Martinez is most likely going to be there, available for. That.
that game uh, but Maguire had a low 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 international you know uh, outing ending it with an own goal sad stuff for him uh, but and people are beginning to make comparisons between him and West Brown uh, who who has scored more own goals who who was worse and all West Brown the thing is Brown was scoring own goals in a winning Manchester United team that he would score an own goal but uh, you know uh, Ru- Ru- Wayne Rooney and uh, and uh, Ruth Van Nistelrooy would score uh, four in the opposing end, so it would end four uh, two or four one uh, for Manchester United. So his own goal would be covered by the huge performances from the rest of the team. The sad bit for Harry Maguire is that you score these own goals in a team that has no striker, because before us, Mass Oil and Rupert, we, we really literally had no striker. Certainly, that goal is going to hurt. We are going to feel the pinch, the pinch of that goal. So tricky stuff there for Harry Maguire, but. We hope he will bounce back strong. We want to support him because one thing I like about Maguire for me is that he has shown some bit of character, some level of character and commitment to try and improve himself. Well, we know uh, we wanted him out and he didn't, but he didn't leave. But uh, I think the problem for Manchester United is beyond Harry Maguire because he has given us good games before. His confidence uh, went, but that doesn't mean he's no longer a top, top defender. I think... Uh, uh, I mean, so many players have failed at Manchester United. It shows you that the problem is not these individual players. That perhaps, uh, but perhaps it's the whole, you know, Manchester United uh, uh, establishment. And uh, we are we are beginning to see that a lot has got to be improved to help these players perform comfortably and uh, you know concentrate and focus on the game. So Maguire scapegoat, yes, but I'm um, not for scapegoats. I believe in collective responsibility, but even when an individual is seeming not to be at the level of the rest, I'm sure uh, you've got to be able to support them and still milk the best out of them because one thing for a fact, United has got some decent footballers in there. So guys, this weekend, Saturday, we are back to Old Trafford. It will be uh, Brighton coming. They beat us there before, but trust me, I don't feel like they're going to beat us this time around. I think we're in the mood our players are in a good mood i think uh they are going to be taken to a proper footballing school and uh, i'll give my prediction soon uh, when i have a sneak peek into you know the first training when these, all these players are back at carrington from the international break but one thing for a fact is that uh, united are improving and steadily so so for me a lot of positivity to take from this whole international break and uh, a lot of excitement uh, to have as we do look forward to the return of the English Premier League. Guys, we are looking forward to making 5K subscribers. I do thank all of you who have subscribed. I do uh, you know, push you to keep sharing. And of course, let's keep growing this Manchester United community because it's all about Manchester United. Just sitting here talking about the club we love as we do give our opinions as not footballers but lovers of this badge. For now, celebrate the new partner, Snapdragon tele- uh, Technologies Company. What they deal in is a bit complicated mobile phone chips and what what have you but we won't care we'll make them big people don't understand what they do they will now that they are joining the biggest football club with over 1 billion fans worldwide hotspot subscribe my name is web guys peace love and harmony <laughs>